Next, in task 7, we'll review the Azure Recovery Services of Telit functionality. Okay, log into the Azure portal and go to the Recovery Services vault and select the RSV1. So, under Protected Items section, click on Backup Items and the backup management type select azure backup agent so on the backup items azure backup blade click on the entry representing you know the vm1 So here on the uh, computer name is the 104-10-vm1 dot click on this link and uh, click on delete. So here uh, type the server name is the 104-10-vm1. Make sure you put the dot here. And select the reason recycling dev test server and put some command and check this box there is a backup data of one backup items associated um, with this server and go ahead and click on delete okay next um, navigate back to the recovery services vault and select the azure virtual machine okay and uh, here click on vm0 so let's stop backup now So here select uh, delete backup data and type the name of the backup item is the 104-10vm0 and select the reason I'm just going to select others and just put some command. And click stop backup okay so now let's go back to the RS1 and click on refresh okay so we are not seeing Azure backup agent anymore so it shows zero and uh, however we still see the backup item count one for the Azure virtual machine okay so here we notice that um, so we can undelete this option see here undelete we can select it and undelete this one so this um, soft delete feature by default uh, you know provided by Microsoft for the Azure virtual machine backup and uh, it is enabled by default also okay so we can back to the rsv1 so under settings click on properties so under security setting click on update So here there is option for soft delete. So if we disable this one, then this feature will not be available. So however, if we have done anything already, meaning before uh, disabling this, then for that, the soft delete feature will be still available. 